I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm trying really hard to not to cry over this. It's not a cry worthy thing. And he goes, you can cry. It's fine. I'm all, <laughs> I'm sick of crying. <laughs> I'm crying because I'm so sick, crying. so sick of it. I, I don't so, want to cry anymore. I oh don't want to go. Wait, there's a song. What's that song? I don't want to cry anymore. Because I'm all cried <laughs> out. Oh my god, that's been I, I got that on my algorithm, Sing god it. damn it, and my fucking TikToks where it's like season change. Oh god, all, all the these 80s songs. 80s and 90s songs. God, and people are like, I love this song. I'm like, if you listen to the words of the song, a first grader wrote it. I saw a um I saw a new kids on the block video. It when Joey was like 13 years old, please don't go, girl. <laughs> you heart. And then in the comments, they're like, "Is this child even in puberty yet? Why is he giving a rose to a woman who's Honestly. clearly 22?" I'm like, "Dude, they're all wearing those. Uh, uh, they're wearing uh, uh, they're wearing white uh, turtlenecks uh, uh. with the Benetton sweaters." And they're like, you know, with the chain to be tough, hanging tough. They did a hanging tough. At the Mickey Mouse Club oh, to a bunch of God. children. And I'm like, we accepted this as entertainment? Yes. So many things. Wow, we accepted crazy. Brittany and Justin as a couple when they were like 12. 16. I don't even know. They were younger than that. Oh. When did, they were on the Mickey Mouse Club? Did you see They that? were children. I sent you a video of Sebastian Bach singing Queen. Did you get it? Uh, what you said? No. Okay. I'm sure I it's there it waiting to be watched. Night. It was last night. Oh, okay. No. I did I, not check. That man is so good. He is, he's Jamie. He's so good. He's yeah. sober and he's been married for like forever. No, not no, forever. No, this is the new one? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, they've been they're, they've been married long enough to where she's not a flash in the pan. I think yeah. it, but less than 10 years. Yeah, and she's married, very young. He was married for a really long time. He was. And he's a nerd because he's like, I have comic books. And he has, he does. I mean, like a room full. But his voice. Oh, Stephanie, he was on Broadway. Jamie, uh, speaking of algorithms. <laughs> Girl, Stephanie, Jamie. <laughs> I almost sent this to you and then I was like, it's two in the morning and don't send it to her. Send tomorrow it! you'll it was Barry Manilow. <gasps> he just played a show. He shows. He had some shows on the East Coast uh this last week. He's had a lot of work done. He has had a lot, but the man can sing. Did you see the video of Frankie Valley lip singing Sherry? Like, oh Sherry. No, 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 no. Oh, what Sherry. Oh God. He, he was his, lip singing? Well, he's ninety-five. Well, Tony Curtis could sing until it he took, died. It took him five minutes to get up the stairs. Why? And then he's Why standing. Why are they still? Do- and he's barely opening his mouth and he's lip singing. And he has like a full band and, and backup singers. And he's like, he looks like a corpse. <laughs> Why do they do that to him? It's mean. And then somebody's it's like, mean. can we call this elder abuse yet? I'm like, what are we you. doing? I'm like, how you. are people paying to see this poor and they're man? Like, and they're like, what? I know. Kick leg kicks. Wow. Drinking so, their, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Barry Manilow, oh though, I'm telling you, this man has got to be 80. I love Barry Manilow. I, Jamie, but he can still, and he, I could tell, I watched it so closely. I'm like, <laughs> is he really singing? You know, I wanted to know. Yeah, right. And he was, in fact, there's a couple times where he hits a couple notes and he looks at the camera like, fuck, I can't believe I did that. Oh like, my he's gosh. like, yeah. Like, he's, he's so good. So good. And I one really thing like I love Barry. about him is Barry that. like in Manilow? Yes. <laughs> And he writes all his fucking songs. He writes a lot of good stuff. Really good songs. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? There is a reason why this song was so popular in the 80s, 70s, whatever. I'm and like, no one's remade great. it. No one has remade it. Well, I hopefully he has a patent on all his shit. Because well, yeah, but I mean, other people will sing them, but no one yeah. has. No, because, well, he's one of those guys where maybe you think you can sing like him until exactly. you try. And then uh, you're like, God damn. They say that about George Michael. Oh God! I you could think never. you can sing it, and then you sing. You're like, "Wow, I you sound I, like shit." I absolutely can't sing this. In fact, when the first time I watched, um, <laughs> don't ever George karaoke Michael. George Michael. Oh God, no, never. The first time I saw the video with George Michael and uh, "Don't Let the Sun." Yes. What's the guy's name? Oh, David Bowie. No. Oh, it's, Elton John. Yes. Yes. And Elton John is brilliant, amazing, and amazing. But like singing next to George Michael, he was. So, He's like, I'll just play the piano. Nobody tried, you know, and it's like, they, these guys have these huge egos. I don't care who you are. They they do, they get rather egotistical. And he's like, I'm the greatest in the whole planet. And George Michael's like, yes, yes, you are. You know, like very humble. And then they open their mouth and it's oh like, okay, seriously? Like all I see is, here so, is George Michael. I'm so jealous because Daryl has seen George Michael live. 
<sighs> more I than once. Love to have seen more him. than once, and I, that's the Jealous. one. Like people ask, well, who do you wish you could see live that you can't see anymore? And for yeah. me, it's number one, George Michael. Me too. Number one. Well, with mine, a bullet. mine's up right up there with Prince. But you've, you've I've got seen to see Prince him. several times, and he does not disappoint. And, and I'll never get to see him. Never. In fact, the last time we saw him, we saw him in Oakland. He was there for um, Apollonia's funeral. Oh, she had passed away yeah. and he had gone to her funeral discreetly and then decided to do a show. And oh. we got tickets to that show at the Fox theater in Oakland. It was like, wow. And so we sat in this little theater and here come, and then out comes Prince and it was just him and a mic. It was a piano and a microphone. That's wow. it. And he comes out and I'm like, my very first thing I said, he is so thin. Like he was, was so right before thin. he died. Yeah. He oh passed God. away like less than a month later. Aww. And I'm like, he was so ill. Ill. He, well, he had an addiction. No, I know. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and so he was just, it was just t- consuming him completely. Yeah. He still, he still sounded amazing. Yeah. I thank God. Oh my God. Uh, but I think about some of the concerts so that you sad. and I have gone to. We've come to some really so good ones. So many good ones. I mean, Skid I mean, the- Row, Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses. Van Halen. Van Halen. Oh my God. With Sammy. That was such an epic show. I think Daryl got us those tickets. The Sammy Hagar uh, Van Halen ones. I really? thought. Well, how did we get them? Because well, we they were really good seats. We were super young. We were. Were we children? No, we weren't children. I thought we were. I don't know. You know what? It's hard to say. It could have been right in the beginning, but maybe not. I, I or maybe you got them. I know maybe. you got them. I probably. I did. just don't remember where you got them. But <laughs> I. Do, you're right. You're we're right. very lucky to get those because te- we, we had great seats. We and did. It was so good. No one got to see Sammy with Van Halen. No, not now. back then. But so, yeah, I yeah. Think... I mean, even the Britney Spears we saw. <gasps> Femme that Fatale. was so good. That was, she was so good. She was amazing. She was so good. Yes. So so good. And Live like, music is just so amazing. I mean. I'm trying to think if there's anyone currently that I want to see, and I can't really think of anybody right now currently, but I mean, I would like to, I know you've seen Mariah. I would love to see Mariah. I would like to see her live personally. I did. And I saw her when she was, you know, about 20 years ago and Mm -hmm. she, you know, she's one of those people who I don't know if she, I don't know why certain singers voices stay literally exactly the same Mm -hmm. until the day they die. And some don't. Yeah. If it's practice, I heard she smoked. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Yeah, I know. But a lot of, did her voice not sound? Well, no, I've just seen her sing live on things like the today show Mm -hmm. and other, you know, things where, and it was just, it wasn't the same as when I saw her, Oh, but it could be, it could be the sound, you know, it could be the way it was set up, you know, maybe she's very particular. She is. From what I've heard. Yeah. When it comes to her voice and the environment. But I would really, I wouldn't mind seeing her in Vegas. Mm -hmm. No, I would love to see her. And she's coming up, you know, to do a residency. It's a short residency, but she's still going to do it. No, Daryl and I are going to see George Strait in December. Jamie! Oh my God! With Chris Stapleton. I saw him I'm so sing, excited. We um, saw him with mom. Yes, we did. No, you're right. I forgot about that. I saw him sing. Um, what's the song? Rascal Flatts sings it, and it was like, oh, Boots Good and Boogie. Oh, I saw that's him. Not, that's a that's Brooks and Dunn. Brooks and Dunn. I saw and that too. It was like a tribute or something. It and he was. was like, I'm like, this guy, if I'm so... them, I'm going, God, we can never sing the song again. And that stupid one. First of all, I don't like Brooks and Dunn at all. I don't either. Okay? But they, I don't either. the one guy came out and he whipped out his harmonica like he had to be a part of it. I'm like, you're such an egomaniac. Right? Just let the man sing your song. And yeah. he's doing it so good. He's so handsome, Stephanie. Jamie, oh my God. That's I, what I'm wondering. I was literally like, I hate this song, I'm but like, I'm going to watch him. He's like in his 70s. Is that? mean when i'm 70 i'm gonna like seven oh my god men. i never knew he was in his 70s he's old oh my god he looks he's really, so really good, good. Well, yeah you know money will do that but That's i'm just true. saying he's so and he's so freaking tall but his I voice is wait. still great so like good. I'm, and he even wears glasses like look i'm blind i can't see i gotta wear my glasses <laughs> i can do yeah oh, oh stumble all over the stage so i don't know if it's aired or if i just caught it on tiktok only but they did a tribute to alabama Oh, I heard about it, but I have not seen it. Okay, I haven't seen it on like a show, a television. I just saw a bunch of clips of it. Something's going on with Randy. I Mm. don't know. Randy Owens got like, he's got like a disease. So he doesn't move like he used to, but he looks exactly the same, just with gray hair. Remember how much a mad crush we had on him? I mean, he's still very handsome. He's so handsome. I haven't seen him lately, but he's very handsome. But he's so funny. He's standing up there and his brother has the bowl haircut still. (laughs) <laughs> I don't understand why no one has told him that's not a look. You know what's so funny to me is like of, of all of the artists who were really, really popular and then like they got older and people mm-hmm. didn't care about him anymore. And then they like did the comeback thing where people yeah. are like, yeah, because there's no good artists anymore. So right. the old artists are becoming more popular right. again. Yes. Uh, what's his name? That's married to Trisha Yearwood. Garth. Yeah, Garth. I mean, right. I, I'm not, 
a huge not a fan no neither am i Mm -mm. but he has taken like he's back like he was you know what's funny i've never been a fan of his literally never there are a Darryl few loves songs him. I'm like, i just i don't love him i like a couple of his songs because he is and the thunder rolls <laughs> the thunder rolls <laughs> there's a few of his songs <laughs> from that era that i still like i but... went to work for her that summer <laughs> i'm like okay oh, i hate that couple. song actually i hate that song <laughs> there's a couple but yeah. i've never been a fan i always thought i'm like this guy really thinks he's something else sure doesn't does. he why? Yeah, he poor really Trisha Yearwood. She had to go get thing. a cooking show so she could stay relevant. Oh my God, with her giant twenty carat ring. Hey everyone, this is how I make Rice Krispie treats <laughs> for the fam. Hey. We know you don't. God, come on, come on. So true. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would Who never. would? I'm like, like, you know, we try to stay down to earth, so I still make meals. I'm like, why? Yeah, right. Why? She's like, yeah, like twice a year, I will Stop actually it. cook a casserole. Mm-hmm. Give me a fucking break. I would never. You would never see me Daryl be like well I'd really miss your cooking I'm like well get over it well I'll teach someone how to cook like me I will How teach them that? my quote unquote I'll teach them my family recipes okay? I would yeah because I'm not I, I are you kidding if I'm a billionaire I'm not gonna be like oh well what do you want for dinner honey <laughs>